So you heard about Google's ruling yesterday that they are a monopoly. Let's talk about what it means. There's a 277 page ruling. Um, these are blank pages because as we learned yesterday, we've all been over paying for Google ads so we could afford it. So let's dive into what it means for a small business and what you should be doing today and what it likely means for the future. To quote from the ruling, after having carefully considered and weighed the witness testimony and evidence, the court reaches the following conclusion. Google is a monopolist and has acted as one to maintain its monopoly. So what's the big immediate update you have to do as a business owner? Nothing, probably. Um, these legal battles are going to take many, many years. The Microsoft case that we're all talking about, because it's the most recent one that's similar to this, had issued uh, findings of fact in 1999, and was issued a breakup of Microsoft in June of 2000, and that didn't actually get settled until a year later in September 2001. Something that I obviously remember from being 10 years old at the time, not necessarily me just reading this Wikipedia article before filming this video. They have that 90% market share, they claim because their product's better. The U.S. government claims it's from a variety of things like paying to be your default search on your iPhone to just the vast amount of data that comes in, that flywheel of the more information they get, the better their search becomes, made them really, really difficult to compete against. The thing that no one's really talking about is that you've had two years of stories of Google not actually being a great search engine anymore and dealing with AI and TikTok. Uh, but that being said, most of us are still Googling, so they probably have a point. As for now, the best thing you can do as a small business owner is really just to continue whatever strategies you're doing. If you're doing SEO, keep doing it. If Google's broken up, there's still gonna be a part of Google that is Google search, and it's still gonna be very, very powerful. Microsoft is back to being a massive company again. AT&T was broken up, and it's now AT&T. Standard Oil is excellent. They seem to be doing all right financially. But it just means it's gonna be an interesting couple of years in digital marketing, which has always been, um, I'm excited. I think change is good, somewhat inevitable, when there's antitrust laws involved, apparently. Um, and it means that you'll wanna be paying attention to the news and also paying attention to the competition. Everyone's gonna see this as a weakness, a thorn in Google's side, and it mean a better experience for consumers and lower ad prices for all of us, which I'm not gonna complain about.